butt feeder that I've made. Um, show you what I did. First of all, I've got a uh, Atwood Tsunami 500 gallon per minute pump attached to the bottom with some radiator hose. You could also use PVC pipe. And it's zip tied to hold the direction of the rubber up so that it uh, sprays up against the tail here. That's what helps give it a good splash for the water. Um, and then I took the wiring and attached it to some 16 gauge wire. You can use a uh, old extension cord, some lamp wire, whatever. Um, and then I've got that ran up here to the uh, Plano Guide Series box, I believe is what it is. Um, and then there's a groove right here that goes all the way kind of around. And what I did is I ran that cord into here and taped it. That way it's kind of supported when you pull up on this when it's down in the mud. It doesn't want to pull on the hole that's drilled into the box for the wires to get on in the inside. And then where I did drill the hole, I put some JB plastic weld material to fill the hole in to keep it from leaking. Um, I've already submerged the box and checked it and it's uh, pretty well watertight. There's no water getting in it at all that I can see. So once you get on the inside here, the wiring is ran to a car flasher I picked up at uh, O'Reilly's. It's just a $12 heavy duty flasher. I found the cheaper ones don't tend to work so well with this kind of a setup. And then we also have the uh, le sealed lead battery. Um, you see these a lot in like deer feeders and stuff like that. It's rechargeable, so you can pick up a recharger if you don't have one. But uh, altogether, I mean, box is 20, around 25 bucks. The battery was 20, 25. Uh, the blinker flasher for the one I got was 11 dollars. Cable or cord was free, and I had it home already. Duck butt was. Uh, 25 for two of them. The uh, pump was 20 to 25 area. So 10 minutes worth of time laying it all out, drilling the hole, running the wire. The hardest, longest thing to do was to do the weld material just because it needed time to dry. But uh, there it is. So let me, uh, let me hook it up here and show you what it looks like. what the uh, action of it does. It sprays up there on the tail because it's in the water. It kind of gives it a nice little bounce. Makes it look like a duck feeding off the bottom. Now the, the blinker you can hear clicking in there is uh, seems like it's kind of loud but once you close the box up and it goes under the water you can't hear it anymore. And the motor just honestly doesn't sound that loud once you get out into the uh, out to the pond or out to the lake um, and all the ducks can see is all this water splash and all the decoys around it are bouncing and moving and uh, I'll tell you every duck that we had that landed in our decoys landed within like 10 feet of the other one of these that I have um, they just they seem to love it. it I mean it looks like a duck it acts like a duck so why wouldn't it be a duck right so uh, yeah there it is you've got some of the extra parts laying around and you want to add some motion to your spread, I would suggest this as a very good option. I got my finger on the trigger shells and the gun, flip off the safety, let's have some fun, send the dog man watch her run.